In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to design an advanced lower third like this. This app is a denominational app. It was this and this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel once again. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button if you're old here. Thank you so much for showing up. So in this video, we're going to use just two softwares. That is Photoshop. We use Photoshop to create the lower third and export it. And we're going to use Wondershare Filmora here to do the animation. And that is the video editing part of the video. So without wasting much time, let's get right into Photoshop. So first of all, what you're going to do is you're going to create a new document. Practically, you can use any size according to how you want it. For example, when you look at the Wondershare Filmora software here, currently I'm using the 1920 by 1080 workspace and I would want my lower third to be around this area. So you can actually use the workspace that you're using in the video editing to create the lower third in photoshop but then of course we are going to crop it to make it small so like i said it can use just any other size so what i do is i go to file and then new here and i'm going to create a new document so i'll select pixels and i'm using the costume size so i'll select 1920 by 1080 so that is the workspace according to my video editing everything remains the same and i'll go ahead and i'll click ok so this is the size that we're going to use and we're going to start right here so we can actually make like a wireframe where we want our lower third exactly to be so practically we want it to be around this area let's say here so that is the part or the size that we're going to use for the lower third so we pick our rectangle tool here and we're going to create a new rectangle something like this it depends on how you want how big you want it so you can practically extend it to this one if you are using it for some things like church service where you would have let's say scripture written over there you can decide to make it this big but in my case i want it around here we will change the color later according to the attire that the person is wearing so this is the first rectangle let's give this color let's say something dark blue so we make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j and right on top of it we're going to change the color like that to white and we can press ctrl t and transform this one out something like that okay so we have like two rectangles right over there now you can basically give this a background a different background so that you're going to see like how what exactly you're doing okay so in this case i want to change the positions of these two colors so i'm going to drag the rectangle on top down a little bit you can even zoom in the more to make sure that everything is in place so you can drop it over here just there because you're going to put the name here and what the person does over there i use this particular lower third in one of my videos in the july apps you can check it up over here so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a circle so to do that because we are on a shape if you try to create like a perfect circle on top of this one it is going to mix up so what you do is you create a new layer on top of this one select your ellipse tool that is the circle tool and you're going to create a new circle over here that is where we will be inputting the images so one like that and you can press ctrl j to duplicate it press ctrl t transform this one to be a little bit smaller like this one and then we go back to the first ellipse or the circle that we created we're going to turn the fill to zero percent right click on it and go to the blending options so what we're going to do is we're going to add a stroke to it and we can increase the size a little bit as to how you want it so afterwards you can try and open this one up depends on how big you want the circle within this one to be like the next thing that we bring in here will be our image so we want our image right inside of this ellipse so we will select that ellipse you see this one and then we we'll go into our resources that is you're going to use just your picture so i have a couple of pictures from my friends from the tech video those that i did the video with some of them and i'm going to first drag this picture here and i'll double click on that so what i'll do is i'll right click on the image 
create a clipping mask so that it fits right into the circle that we created so you can bring it over here afterwards you can press ctrl j to transform it something like this one beautiful so we want just the head sort of the the part of the head to be on top and then you can see from here that at least the color of the neck is quite blending if you want it to blend exactly with the image that you're using you just pick that particular rectangle and then you can double click on it and choose a color from the attire i'll be demonstrating that with the other images right from here but let's finish with this one so the last thing that we're going to add will be the test so in the video or in the template that i created what i did was i had the name of the channel here and then the link under here so we pick the test tool and we're going to type the name here so the name is innocent k button and i'm using the font acrobat semi bold i'll leave links in the description in case you want to download that so you press ctrl t you can transform it like that and then you can push it over here Afterwards, you can just make a duplicate control J to duplicate it, drag it right beneath of it and you're going to change the color. Let's say we use red over here and that is going to be either a title or let's say instructor, anything that you want to put there. But in the template, I used the YouTube links. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. So youtube.com forward slash innocent K button so something like that and then you can press ctrl t transform it to be a little bit smaller than the other one so that's it practically you are done with your lower third so you can group all of these ones so starting from the test here to the rectangle you can group all of that press ctrl a and then you can center this one right into the middle because we're going to crop this one we're now going to export the whole of this particular lower tier into wondershare femora we're just going to export this size so let me quickly show you how you can actually replace this with the other images that i have in my folder so you open your group you go to your image like this one and then i'll go into my resources i have the second image this is the image of soji gray so you place him over here so you right click and you create the clipping mask you can first of all turn this one off if you don't want to see it at all and then you can take your time to position him press ctrl t transform him out and you can see that in his attire he is wearing red so we want the red to be this one so let me change my color here to a different color something like this one and i'm going to pick my rectangle to this rectangle and then i can click on it like that change it to red something very red like that you can as well do the same thing for this particular ellipse here so you can change the stroke to red to match exactly the design right after you're done with everything you're going to export now we don't want the background since we're going to export in png so we're going to turn off this background here so that you have the transparent background like this and we're going to crop it out so you choose c that is the crop tool and then you can crop to the very edges like this one and then you crop here like that do the same thing for this side and you can actually do the same thing for it. so you can double click once you're done so this is the actual lower third this is what we're going to export and send it inside of wondershare femora now this is how you export it you go to file and then if you've already saved your psd document you're going to have to save it as that is you go to save us and then you're going to save it as png so let's save it on the desktop as png that is practically because we don't want the background if you save it as a jpeg you're going to have the white background we don't want the white background so you save it as a png let me give this one a name let's say innocent okay so like that and you save it right over here so over here on our desktop this is our image and then let's go into wondershare femora and see how you apply it adding the animation and probably the sound effect which i'm not going to cover in this video so what you do is in wondershare femora over here you have your media that is this is wondershare femora 9 
over here you have your media that is where you import in your images video sound everything that you're going to use for your design so we're going to import this one as a png inside of wondershare femora and then we're going to place it over here now let's assume this is your video which of course is an image and then you play you want your lower third this side when you drag and drop your video inside of wondershare femora you can actually drag it on the timeline like that okay so this is the video part so when you hit on the space bar it is going to play like that that is the pause and play so when i reach this side i want to place my lower third here once you hit on the space bar to stop it here you can drag you can then drag your lower third to the next line mind you want to chef Yumura already have its lower third over here you can use any of them at your convenience but this one we looking at something that you create yourself something more advanced as compared to that those ones that under chef Yumura has so you drag your lower third here and then you realize that it will be on top of the video or the image that you're using and what you do is you can select it from here just like in photoshop you have the transformation edges you can transform it to be something smaller like this one and then you can take your time drag it to the very part so i want it to appear here so once you have it over here let's see how it actually works so we have our timeline so we have our keza here and then it hits on play and then when it gets there it just shows up like that don't mind the blurry part here when you export everything is going to be in the high resolution the hd or you can even export it 4k if you want now this is the trick if you want to add animation to it just that it doesn't transition or it doesn't just fade in like that you can add a bit of transition inside of wondershare Fimora. so in order to do that all that you need to do is you double click on the lower third so this is my lower third you double click on it and then it will bring you to this part where we have the image the color and then the motion since we save this as the png that's why we have this one here so we go to the motion and then over here you have like a lot of transition wondershare femora has built in some awesome transitions that you can actually use for free so all these ones so let's pick this one for instance this is the boom you double click on that and then it will demonstrate how it is actually going to be like for you exactly so you click ok let's go back to this side and let's see how it actually transitions here right over there so you can change it anytime you double click on it and then over here you can actually pick any one of the motions or let's say the transitions any one of them like that so this is cool this is very simple so with this motion that is the transition nice transition and some awesome effects at the end of the day you're supposed to have something like this this is a game that was created by a Ghanaian developer this was a one-man creation it took him all and yeah practically that's it so you can export this one when you've added your sound effect and everything which i'll be covering in other video subscribe if you want to see that very soon I'll be covering in that video so you can export in 1080p or 4k and then you should be good to go now back to photoshop if you are doing this for let's say a group of people like collaboration or something like that you can easily change these ones like i demonstrated first so all that you need to do first is you pick your image that is your image here you can turn it off go into your resources i'm going to use the picture of rick aqua here and we're going to apply the same colors to the rectangle as well so you can drag him over here somewhere like that you can right click on it create a clipping mask like that press ctrl t transform it to make it fit straight into the circle and then you can select your first rectangle here double click on it and then you can choose the color yellow from his attire so something like this should be good so i, I think this one is okay you can click ok and then you do the same thing for the circle around it you double click on this ellipse go to the stroke and then you can change the color to this one so that it just fits straight away like that and then you can actually change the name here so something like rick aqua or let me make it all caps so 
rick aqua here and then you put the next thing right over there you can edit it very simple you just have to save one template and you'll be importing the rest of the image as simple as that now once you're done with this you can actually export it as a png come into wondershare Filmora, and with the same process that we used you can actually do the same thing for this one so when it reaches his turn let's say we want it here you just drag your lower third and then you can apply some animation on it some sound effects and then you're good to go that'll be it for this video let me know in the comment section if this was in any way helpful and if you want to be seeing more of videos in wonder chef Imura like this i'll be very glad to cover them up for you just leave a comment telling me what you want to see in wonder chef Imura. thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one it's innocent here and bye